this. <laughs> All right, people. Good mornings. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yep. Yeah. Hope your five senses work, health, and strength is good or excellent. What? What's up, gamers? On a on a on a Tuesday morning. All right. What do we got for you guys? Mm. What do we got for you for you little gaming nerds? What do we have for you? What do we have? Hmm. Yeah. The, ga the gaming industry moves on, you know. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, all right. Tweet. All right, Tweet Tom. Talk to me. What you got? What do, what do Tweet Tom have? Let's see what we got. Xbox One. Huh? Uh-oh. FTC versus Microsoft Judge Corley denies preliminary preliminary injunction in big win for Xbox. Hmm. Well, I did I, I did I did tell I did tell you tell everyone that they they rushed the judgment on this. They weren't prepared. And they, and they never had a case in the first place. So uh they they the, uh they messed up. They messed up big. They weren't prepared. They were. They were more concerned. They were more concerned about uh, the sixty-eight. Uh, what's that? Six seventy billion, sixty-eight point seven billion. Um, they weren't. They, they weren't prepared. Even even when Judge Corley asked them about, okay, okay, tell me what other uh, uh, titles besides uh, Call of Duty that like Activision has on there. Activision has, and you and you can't and you can't um, and you go in the courtroom and you can't explain that, you already lost. You know? And then you have Phil Spencer coming at him, talking about um, uh, you know using using that 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 house analogy, talking about dump dumping seventy billion into an asset. Hmm. Yeah, um, they weren't prepared for this. What's up, Twig Town? What's up, Tech for Gamers? What's up, WCCF Tech? What's up, Game Developer? What's happening? All right, what I what I got here? It says here, FTC versus Microsoft. Judge Corley denies preliminary injunction in big win for Xbox. <laughs> yeah, they were they weren't prepared, man. Judge Corley has denied the FTC request for a preliminary injunction. Microsoft may commence its 68.7 billion merger with Activision. And close over strategy. Well, let's see. Let 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 let's let's brainstorm here. Uh, you know what? <laughs> let me get through this first before I, before I open my mouth. <laughs> Says here. Uh, what's up, Twig Down? Says here in a big win for Xbox game division, Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley has denied the FTC request for a preliminary injunction. Uh, Says here, Judge Corley. Today published a redacted 53-page opinion document that denied the FTC preliminary injunction request. This effectively means that Microsoft may commence its 68.7 billion merger with Activision and close the deal. E cl and close the deal even during the FTC pending administrative case. Mm. Says here, uh, Judge Corley writes that this court's responsibility in this case is narrow. It's it is to decide if, notwithstanding these current circumstances, the merger should be halted, perhaps even terminated. Mm. Says there are pending uh, resolution of the FTC administrative actions. For the reason explains, the court finds the FTC has not shown a likelihood it will prevail on its claims. This particularly uh, vertical merger in this specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumer as access to Call of Duty and other Activision content. The motion for a, pre a preliminary injunction is therefore denied. 
Let's see, what's that word denied? What was the last time I heard that word? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's Quake 3, you know? When I did a two versus two versus uh two versus two uh, multiplayer match. Me versus the computer. Let's see here. I had Tank Jr. and I had Grunt versus that that I can't stand Gore Gore and Sarge. Oh yeah, we we, we went at it for 30 minutes straight, boy. <laughs> so yeah, you know when you get them little power-ups, it says uh denied. Oh yeah. Quake 3 on the Dreamcast, man. Oh, yeah. Love that game. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, look. It says, uh, it says, uh, Judge Crowley went to went on to dismiss the case entirely because the decision on the FTC request for a preliminary injunction effectively terminates the litigation and constitute a final order. This case is dismissed. Yeah. Know your argument. Okay? Like I've been telling you. Anyway, it says here, the order also adjusts the temporary restraining order troll that prohibit Microsoft from merging with Activision until midnight, June 14, 2023, unless the FTC obtains a stay pending appeal from the Ninth, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. <laughs> it says here, so they're playing it right here. It says here, uh, in the evidentiary uh, hearing, Microsoft legal counsel said that if the preliminary injunction were ordered, then the deal would not survive. Due to the FTC long-winded administrative uh, hearing process that ultimately ends in a vote among its commissioners. And that is that. Okay, people. Well, like I tell you before, like, like, these, para, like these paralegals and lawyers like to say, <laughs> know your argument, you know. Um, they weren't prepared for this. You know, uh, they, ru they rushed the judgment, you know. Um, and they went in the courtroom, like, asking questions about the deal versus coming up with concrete evidence, solid, solid concrete evidence. They weren't prepared for this, you know. Um, <laughs> like I told, like, like my, like my computer, like my computer teacher used to tell me, um, 95.5, <laughs> he said 95.5, Chris, <laughs> 95% preparation, 5% execution. So, yeah, when it comes to that court, court, uh, the court, it's all about preparation, man. And um, you, you got to know your know your stuff before you before you go in that courtroom, and be for pre and be professional and be respectful. You know. Anyway, um, they weren't ready for this, man. You know, because I mean, Phil, I mean Phil Spencer I mean Phil Spencer destro destroyed the destroyed the uh, FTC when he said um, when he used that house analogy. They lost it, and then the judge on top of that asked you, asked, asked the FTC about, uh, you know, so what other assets, what other titles besides Call of Duty, and you and you're forgetting Tony Hawk, Diablo. Starcraft, World of Warcraft, and Candy Crush. You weren't prepared. So, uh, even the judge probably sitting you on the bench like this. <laughs> shaking, sh shaking her head, you know, they weren't prepared. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, this, um, this was all about preparation, you know. Um, the CMA now, they just blocked the deal because they wanted, they wanted to help Sony to get a, a cloud, uh, cloud infrastructure. To compete with Xbox, you know, that's why they said at the end of the um, when when they blocked it, they said at the end, oh, after ten years, we'll uh, after ten years, uh, we will try to uh, renegotiate the deal or like, nah, no, they they never um, they never had a case, man. When this thing started, I mean, how many people? It was just what the shareholders, ninety eight percent, seventy five percent of the public. You had the employees, and then you had what? You had Serbia, Chile, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, and Brazil. It was just those four countries. And as the case went on, you had what? You had who? You had uh, you had China. You had Japan. You had Korea. <laughs> you had uh, Ukraine. Uh, you had Mexico. <laughs> you have uh, South Africa. Uh, I mean, they 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 had uh, Microsoft. Those countries, they might be they they got power. They got say so on the matter, man. So um, yeah. Um, uh, you have uh, what's that? Uh, New Zealand. They're supposed to make a decision by the seventeenth of this month. So I mean, um, 
uh, uh, the FTC, the CMA, um, you know, they ru they rushed the judgment on this. Microsoft gave out what ten year contracts to who? Enware, EE, Ubitus, Boosteroid, Nvidia, and Nintendo. So they benefited from this, and uh, uh, Amazon could benefit from it if they wanted to, or even Google. But Google and Sony, they were against it. They were trying to block the block the deal. You know, it's like, yeah. Then you have the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the U was the EU. They they sided with Microsoft, you know. So, you know, uh, <laughs> they were talking about. Um, they said um, uh, the the CMA talked about. We didn't. Um, they said um, they were more. They, they um, the deal is not gonna um, affect uh, console gaming, but we were more concerned about cloud gaming. You can't do that. It's either the deal is gonna. Uh, uh, it's gonna hurt console. It's, it's gonna. It's either the deal gonna cause harm or it's not. You know. So they were just circling the wagon. They they weren't prepared for this. You know. So yeah. But the judge, the judge don't sit on the bench just for nothing. You know. They 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 can they can see, they see a lot of things. You know. And um, they just that she just asks a question. You know. When the judge asks a question, you got to be able to answer it. And if you can't answer it, then. What what are you what are you doing in the courtroom? <laughs> so yeah, um, um, all those uh all those um all those cloud uh cloud streaming service they're gonna benefit from this man. So yeah, I mean the European Commission is gonna be keeping an eye on Microsoft. So yeah, and you notice the judge didn't even bring them into the picture too, cause she could have if she could have if she, if she wanted to like okay, why did you guys side it with Microsoft? Just saying. Something that simple. Uh, they weren't prepared for this, man. They weren't prepared. Anyway, um, Microsoft just, they beat everybody to the punch, man, with this, you know? <laughs> so, Phil Spencer said, uh, Sony and Nintendo is not our competitors? Okay. Game Pass is up? Okay. That mean they looked down that road, seen who the competitors were? Okay, okay. Activision Blizzard popped up on the radar. Face Facebook name got mentioned in the situation. And Microsoft is like this, like a bunch of eagles with their claws out. Hmm. Ain't got them. Yeah. And the rest is history, you know. <clears throat> what the, I mean, even Phil Spencer said the deal deserves some pushback. Sony did. Sony didn't want to take a ten-year, uh, a ten-year, uh, a ten-year contract. Their main goal is to block the deal. You know, communication is key in a lot of things, man. So yeah. <laughs> but other than that, man, um, <clears throat> you know, I don't. I, they they did. Microsoft did right on this. You know, they did right on right on this. I, look, I seen an article about a couple of days ago about um. Uh, people, uh, they were buying. People were buying stocks of Activision, shares of Activision. You know, <laughs> before the judge made the decision, and, and I, I was gonna make a video say like, you know what? Don't count your eggs before they hatch. You know, wait till the judge make the decision, then make the, then buy, then buy your shares and your stocks. You know, I guess that person was right. <laughs> so yeah. Other than that, man, um, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft prevails and. Um, we, um, no, nobody knows the real outcome, you know, to this deal. I mean, I mean, um, I don't think it's going to, um, me, me, me personally, I don't think it's going to harm the game industry, you know, I don't think so, you know, because I mean, studio, studios are being formed on a yearly basis. Uh, I mean, they, I mean, game studios are being formed, you know, so, um, another studio will pick up where Activision left off. They'll get big as Activision. They'll get big, and the game industry will continue continue to grow and thrive. You know. Um, other than that, yeah. <clears throat> Microsoft, they saw it first, and they snatched it. Whew. Yeah, the judge, the judge, the, the judge asked the FTC, "What other titles besides Call of Duty?" 
you go and you go in there and, and can and can't name them. Tony Hawk, <laughs> Diablo, Starcraft, World of Warcraft, Candy Crush. Can you forget all that? It's not good. Anyway, man, um, other than that, the game industry moves on. It moves it moves on. <laughs> First Microsoft bought uh the Zenimax Bethesda. <laughs> Bought, bought 7.5 billion. Yeah, there were other deals out there. They could have got them. Um, you know, AT and T was trying to. Um, AT and T was was selling uh, Nether Realms, Rocksteady, and WB Games for five billion. That deal was on the table. Sony could have grabbed it, snatched that up. Activision Blizzard was bigger. Microsoft just said, got him. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. Come on. Peace.